Hello, welcome to Behind the Wall. I'm Stan Grant. In a further sign that China is cracking down on dissent in Hong Kong, seven pro-democracy activists have been found guilty of organising and participating in unauthorised protests in the city back in 2019. Media tycoon Jimmy Lai and the man they call the father of democracy, 82-year-old Martin Lee, were among those convicted today. The move follows the decision earlier this week to dramatically reduce the number of directly elected seats in the city's legislature. Willie Lam is a political scientist at the Chinese University of Hong Kong and he joins me now. Willie, it's good to have you with us. What message do these convictions send to Hong Kong? Well, I think there's no mistaking the fact that uh, Beijing is cracking down on Hong Kong's high degree of autonomy. Uh, the conviction of uh, Martin Lee, who is known as the mm founder of the um, Hong Kong Democracy Party and also the godfather of Hong Kong democracy uh, has caused widespread consternation in Hong Kong, uh, particularly given the fact that uh, they were only taking part in a peaceful uh, demonstration, even though uh, that demonstration itself had not been authorized by the police. Uh, nobody was hurt and it was totally peaceful. It was also uh, protected by the basic law of Hong Kong's constitution that Hong Kong people have the freedom to organize peaceful demonstration. So again, it seems that uh, despite uh, condemnation from the US, from uh, the EU and other Western countries, Beijing is going ahead with this uh, very hardline program to impose one country on two systems. Mm. And we are seeing the further erosion of uh, Hong Kong's high degree of autonomy. Willie, now the convictions have hand, been handed down. They're yet to be sentenced. What are the concerns there? What are the expectations there about what that sentence may be? Well, uh, they could be sentenced to up to five years in jail. Um, however, the expectation expectation is that uh, because Martin Lee is uh, well known uh, in the Western world, he might get a suspended sentence, but uh, a few of those seven uh, already convicted might uh, get a few years uh, in jail. Uh, it's possible that those uh, sentences might be uh, suspended, but again, uh, Beijing is eager to show Hong Kong that uh, despite protests from the Western world, they are going ahead with uh, the Communist Party administration's uh, very hardline policy on Hong Kong. Uh, and this was demonstrated uh, graphically uh, just a few days ago when Beijing imposed a so-called reformed uh, electoral system on Hong Kong whereby uh, most of the members of the electoral committee, which will pick the next chief executive uh, end of March next year, uh, are appointed by Beijing or subject to uh, influence by Beijing. So there is no possibility that a uh, pro-democracy candidate uh, can contest uh, the election for chief executive. Moreover, there is a very powerful uh, vetting uh, committee, uh, mm. the Qualifications mm. Review Committee, uh, and all those uh, candidates who want to take part in uh, elections to the Legislative Council or other uh, electoral positions must be vetted by the uh, police first. So uh, this has sent a very chilling message to uh, pro-democracy uh, legislators in Hong Kong. It's even very possible that uh, despite uh, the fact that there is a wide spectrum of opinion across the uh, and democratic alliance, uh, most of the Democrats might boycott uh, the election to the Legislative Council uh, in order not to lend uh, an air of uh, authority and legitimacy to the new uh, mm. draconian uh, arrangement. And, and Willie, the uh, message from uh, Beijing uh, and Carrie uh, Lam has repeated this in Hong Kong, is they're saying that, yes, pro-democracy candidates can still stand for election, but they have to, as you say, they have to be vetted and they have to meet this test of being patriotic. What is the, the test of patriotism? Well, 
uh, patriotism, of course, uh, has been interpreted in the most uh, severe and uh, draconian manner by Beijing. Um, uh, being patriotic means uh, abiding by the instructions of the central government and the uh, Hong Kong government. It also means uh, showing, uh, quote unquote, respect to the Communist Party. And uh, it is quite likely that um, particularly well-known figures in the uh, pan-democratic uh, alliance in Hong Kong uh, will not be deemed patriotic because uh, either in public interviews, in uh, articles, or even in the Facebook, they have written very critical uh, uh, things and given critical views about uh, the Beijing leadership as well as the Hong Kong leadership. So what it means is that um, only uh, pro-establishment candidates uh, would qualify this very high th threshold for uh, patriotism. Willie, really, just a, a final thought from you. We all remember the scenes, those extraordinary scenes of the months upon months upon months of protests in Hong Kong. We've seen the response from Beijing, the crackdown on the protests, the new laws, um, now these, these convictions and the changes to the Legislative Council. So many of the organisers of the protests or the leading figures of the pro-democracy movement have gone underground or indeed left the country. What does this tell us about the mood now in Hong Kong, um, the determination of the pro-democracy movement in the face of this stronger hand from Beijing? Well, the mood amongst the uh, pro-democracy camp, as well as uh, many uh, ordinary citizens, particularly members of the middle class and so forth, uh, are very sombre. And uh, uh, given the fact that many of the pro-democracy leaders are in jail or in exile, uh, they feel uh, very uh, important about changing the uh, Hong Kong situation, given Beijing's decision to uh, crack down on one country, two systems. So we have seen uh, a spike in application for uh, immigration to Western countries, uh, particularly the UK, uh, Australia, Canada, and the US. And uh, for the Hong Kong government, uh, they just don't care because uh, they want uh, professionals, uh, people with money, business people from China, to come to Hong Kong uh, to replace the uh, traditional members of the establishment in Hong Kong. So they want a change of blood, so to speak, mm. uh, within Hong Kong's uh, elite communities. Uh, j just a, a final thought from you, Willie. Just, uh, I was just wondering, given that you are someone who observes politics there, writes about politics, speaks very frankly as you're speaking today, do you feel concerned about your ability to speak out, your ability to write freely about what is happening in Hong Kong? Well, certainly it's fair to say that um, most academics and uh, uh, key uh, public opinion leaders, as well as uh, columnists and so forth, are exercising uh, some degree of self-censorship because uh, even though uh, so far they have only uh, detained uh, two uh, key opinion leaders for their speeches and their writings critical of Beijing and the SAR government. Uh, we feel that there is a kind of a, a sort of democracy uh, hanging over our heads. And uh, it is not surprising that uh, several of the more prominent uh, critics, uh, writers uh, who are uh, critical of the uh, Chinese government uh, have left Hong Kong uh, for good. Willie, it's always a pleasure to speak to you. Thank you again for giving us your time. Thank you. Thank you very much.